Okay, what we need to do now is put our uh, bracing underneath our uh, carport roof. So using the measurements in your instruction manual, come in the correct distance, and then just attach your bracing onto your uh, cross beam. Once you've done one side, then attach the other side. And then you just need to do the same, working in a line straight down the carport. Okay, what we need to do now is put our phaser on the outside of our carport. Um, now, for our phaser to attach to these outer edge beams, we need to uh, screw them onto these little jams. Um, so we join these jams together, then they'll screw to the outside edge beam and then we'll screw our phaser to the outside of that. So just overlapping the two jams together, drill a hole through the centre and then just put a rivet to connect them together. Okay, once we've attached our uh, jams together, we need to then screw these to the outside edge beam. Uh, you've got three for each side, so one in the centre, two on your outers. Uh, just make sure it's flush with the top and bottom of your edge beam. So once you've attached uh, your centre one, then your two outer ones just slightly in from each corner. Okay, once we've got those little jams attached to our outer edge beam, now we can screw our, um, our phasia board to that. Now you can use a wafer tech screw, you can use rivets, they're all provided in the kit, um, whatever you want to use. Um, but we'll be screwing this phasia board onto these jams. So, line your piece up. You want to be close to your, your corner here on the carport. Um, but obviously the halfway point is that jam there, so um, we've got to be half on that. Don't be too concerned if you're a little short here on your edge beam. Um, we're going to have a corner flashing that covers all that. So once you're happy where you've got that in place, that screws in there. Um, then what we need to do now is get our other piece, put that up, um, and then we can join the two together. Okay, we've got our first one up. Now we just, we've put our second one up. Um, we just slide um, this phasia inside the other one. Um, you just simply just cut a little notch out um, and squash up the bottom. That enables that to slide into place. Um, once we got that in, hook it over the jam on the other side and we just need to put one screw through the middle. That joins those together and then screw on the end and that's locked our phaser all in place. Okay, once we've got our phaser board on, uh, now we need to cover our corners um, where that phaser board uh, joins. That's where we use our external corner um, now following the profile of the phasia, that corner just sits over the top. And as you can see, the grooves in the phasia and the grooves in that external corner um, will match up. And then we just drill and rivet through those just to connect them together. Idea is to get one side lined up. And you can manipulate these and twist them a little bit if your other side isn't lining up perfectly. Okay, now we need to do the same with the other three corners. What we need to do now is attach our downpipe to our carport. Um, you've got your 90 degree bends. Um, they go on either side of your downpipe. Um, dropper's already been put in place and riveted in. So that 90 degree bend we need to now screw onto the bottom of that dropper. So just drill a hole through the PVC and through the dropper. Like so. Okay, we'll need to put another screw on the other, other side. That just locks that in place. 
um, and then our downpipe spout all the way to the bottom of the post. Now you will have to cut that one to size, so just measure up from the bottom um, to this part of your bend here and then just fit that in there and then we'll screw that off. Okay, once we've cut our downpipe uh, to the correct length, that just slides up underneath into that 90 degree bend. Just push it all the way up. And just same again, a screw either side of that join. Okay, once we've got that uh, downpipe now in place, using our downpipe strap, we just need to um, attach that to the post of the carport. 